All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Click Connect, and uh, I'm super excited because I have Arul here. Arul, welcome to the Robert Show. It's your debut. Thank you, Ravi. Thank you. I would love for you to quickly introduce yourself. Tell us more about uh, what you do, and also tell us a little about what's uh, happening at Click Connect. Thank you. Firstly, thank you, and pleasure to be here on your show. I'm Arul. Arul Arogyanathan, Group CIO of Village Roadshow. Yep. Not many people know Village Roadshow. but we are australia's leading premier entertainment powerhouse nice. we have diversified portfolio of businesses right from theme parks cinema exhibition to film distribution we have about eight world class entertainment venues as far as the theme park is concerned Very and cool. when we talk about cinemas we have 214 screens across 24 locations nice so in a nutshell we welcome about 22 million people in a year on year and we are in the entertainment business not just to give unforgettable experience but also to create a lifelong memories for our guests i love it those are big numbers and uh, that's a lot of responsibility when it comes to entertainment so that's fantastic um, uh, i have a quick question for you since we are here at click connect and i know you all have been very close to click uh, we'll get more into it but just for our audience i'm kind of curious to know from you uh, what are the data challenges you encounter as the cio of australia's leading entertainment uh, you know brand can you share a little about that as well because uh, when we look at and we think about entertainment it's like okay we are seeing all the fun stuff but behind the scene the real data challenges we would love to know a little bit more yeah absolutely i mean as i said uh, we have 22 uh, cinema locations right. uh, 24 sorry and yep. uh, we have eight uh, theme park locations yep. we have uh, uh, 22 million customers coming in exactly. so That's you can imagine uh, the number of the data sets we are dealing with you exactly. know so not too long ago we were drowning in manual processes yep. static reports uh, you know uh, you name it and we had those challenges exactly. and you look at our business i mean uh, every morning we have a new challenge unpredictable weather unexpected uh, customers or even unplanned ride maintenance so we need to be on a top of everything and data is what that pulse gives us you know and in the old world by the time we get to the answers the question had changed yeah, yeah? and every decision was like delayed reactive and disconnected All so right. we needed to look for a solution which could actually get the real value out of the data exactly. and that to in a near real time so true. so in a nutshell we were always uh, looking at the lagging indicators you know what i mean is what happened why it happened so rather true. than what will happen and what should we do about it yeah. so th th that's where the shift came from in terms of the where we were and where we wanted to go it's fantastic and it's obviously always a journey and when you kind of find the right uh, you know partner and uh, if it, if that kind of makes the work easy and smooth nothing better than that uh, uh, also wanted to know since you all have like a you you know you all have like a very broad portfolio of products uh, uh, and services how do you develop a coherent data strategy across these diverse offerings is there something particularly that you all would look at or is it all planned like a road map that this is what we are going to go after and this is how it looks like is there something that you can share yeah definitely i mean we we have a unique advantage as well as challenge as well i mean given we have a diversified portfolio of businesses yeah right i mean every business has different unique needs but at the same time these businesses complement each other true. so that's where we try to take an advantage of it Very and true. rather than creating an isolated data strategy what we do is we embed and we so called you know data embedded business strategy Very what important. i mean by that is you know let's have a 360 degree persona of a customer i mean like for a cinema business you and your wife might be just going and you are a different persona yeah exactly. but when you visit the theme park you have two kids yeah and now you have a different persona so how can we tap into that individual information that theme park has versus the cinema has and create this so called a golden record so that we can cross campaign so that we can do the cross selling that's where the overarching business strategy comes into picture love it and again uh, i mean different pockets have different demands, demands. i mean like uh, the, the, we have a loyalty program one for cinema business but right. again we have a different loyalty program theme parks so how can we you know cross, cross. sell each other yeah. and take a cross value so this is where the 360 degree view and very comprehensive data embedded strategy comes into picture i love it i love uh, how you've kind of explained it and how you've kind of you know obviously 
told us about how it really works in the entertainment space as well when you have like different categories of business and how you can go out and cross promote and there's so much more into it uh, also when we talk about you know uh, data I, i think data governance is like the piece everyone wants to know more and more the de- enterprise leaders at least that i talk to I have a question for you which is around how important is data governance across uh, the village road show group when the businesses within it have like different commercial requirements like you mentioned how do you kind of look at that Yeah I mean we all say data is the next oil and everybody wants to encash the data right but again that comes at the cost yeah I mean every decision that may, you make you want to have a confidence in the data so the governance is what gives you the confidence right. in the data so governance is all about data quality data lineage where it is coming from and where it is ending and how people are interpreting it you know yeah, exactly. i could generate a report today uh, with some context and some lineage into it but when it's in the hands of the end user they might interpret it completely differently Different. you know True. so you don't want the wrong meaning coming out of it and as a result of wrong dis- uh, decisions being made yeah? yeah that's why the governance is very very important data quality where it is coming from the source how people are interpreting how they are reporting so that's what so i mean to just to answer your question it is very very important for us to keep governance in mind and from the design itself we embed the governance into data yeah ah uh, thanks for sharing that uh, definitely very important uh, piece of the whole data culture but also how data teams kind of work um, i want to also know your journey uh, with click um, uh for a fact where you know click uh, has provided foundation data s- digital solutions and also um, a- any example of moving into you know click sense uh, click sas and answers do you want to share a little bit about that yeah our transformation journey has been had its own pain and challenges uh, <laughs> it's not it didn't happen overnight yeah. i mean uh, um we've been with click for about 7 years now and we started our journey with click then went to click view then went to click sas and uh, mid last year we pretty much moved to click sas or so called click cloud analytics mm. yeah um i mean we've been one of the early adopters of the click whether it's just the click uh, analytics or even whether it's click uh, answers or click predict we've been embracing most of the modern technologies and the innovation that has been happening in the click world yeah this is fantastic uh, also uh, if you would like to give any advice to the leaders out there who are planning to migrate to click what would it be i mean see no doubt the click is a wonderful tool and it does the magic right. but my dad used to say something uh, a fool with the tool is still a fool so <laughs> no matter how good the product is you need a support ecosystem beyond right. that so my one piece of advice would be have a partner ecosystem to support you Very whether true. it's a click professional services or a third party provider Very true. but have that uh, support system so that you can take the true value out of the system love it uh these are fantastic insights are all uh, one more quick question for you if folks want to reach out to you learn more i'm pretty sure our audience always loves to connect with leaders like yourself practitioners who've been working managing teams in the data space and have spent years uh so if they want to connect with you which is the best platform to connect the best way to know more about what we as an organization do or what we as a technology team do is to reach out on our uh, portal which is villageroadshow.com.au okay and if people have a, a question which is relevant to what i've said today or anything that they want to ask me directly yeah. probably linkedin is the best way i'm on the linkedin yeah you can find out by my first name and last name amazing yeah. so you can connect with arul on linkedin uh, arul such a pleasure chatting with you and uh, have a great conference uh, i think the show floor is buzzing right now so i'm pretty sure you would like to go and chat with everyone out there so thank no you doubt, once man. again it's a pleasure. appreciate it thank, thank you. you very Cheers. much thank you everyone for joining us today